So today we're going to show you how to edit your profile on the Raven variable rate system. This is your main home screen. You will click the gears tab and then you want to edit your profile. So if it doesn't show already, you'll enter your profile name, pull behind spreader if you got a pull tight, or if you got a truck box, that will be a self-propelled unit, and then your application width. Both of these boxes for the ECU and number of products will be one. Your number of spinner controls will be one, and the bottom fan spinner RPM control will be unchecked. Your application type will be granular fertilizer. Your product one granular will be dry manure and litter. Your drivers will be none. And then you'll come to your summary screen. And this is all the last screens you inputted will show up here. So you can click through that. On the scale setup screen, you will select product scale. And then make sure the product scale one has a check mark in it. For a five point scale system, so for an SB or an SBX, your factory calibration number is 46,130. Um, if you have a four point, a six point, or an eight point scale system, uh, the numbers will be on your screen as well. For your RPM calibration, uh, and your first box should be one, your low limit, 400, and your high limit, 2,000. You don't need alarm checked on either one of those. RPM sensor one should have a check mark in product one. Um, that's gonna read your PTO sensor to make sure your PTO is running uh, before your floor chain moves so you don't jam your beaters. For your control valve type, it will be PWM close, uh, valve response 50, control dead band is at 2%, zero valve delay, and uncheck the enable PWM smart control. So all those values will be correct. All right, next page, coil frequency will be 100, PWM high limit 100, low limit 20, and PWM startup is at 25. The density factor, I think defaults at 100, but um, just to kind of get it back in line, uh, we'll throw it at 50, and that'll adjust as, um, as your product varies in weight. Pulses per revolution is 200. Um, new feature is a gate height enable sensor. Um, at this point, we'll leave that unchecked. And then again, for SB and SBX, your spreader constant will be 5.1 and gate height at 48. Uh, if you have a CB or an SB, those numbers will be on your screen here. Tank capacity, uh, we'll just put at 50,000. That'll just fill up as you're filling up your box. It'll, the tank will be turning red. Uh, low level B0, no alarm, and then no check mark in the low level bin sensor. These are all preset values you can enter if you got uh, some three rates that you're going to be applying. Um, just real quickly, you can throw those in there and at a quick of a button, you can click on those. Uh, rate bump, if you just want to bump your rate up, you can have a rate bump in there. Uh, rate selection should be predefined or prescription. Display smoothing will be checked and a zero decimal shift. So again, these rates up here can be whatever you guys uh, want your rates to be. Off-rate 
target alarm 20. Um, we don't need an alarm check marked on that and then the shaft sensor alarm also unchecked. And then this is just your summary screen on all the inputs we just put in so you can click through that next page. Um, so if you hit the house on the top right, anytime you edit your profile you're going to have that red stop sign right in the center. So to get anything to work you just got to touch that back and turn it green. That will turn on your your uh, variable rate. <clears throat> a couple more things I want to show you um, in this wrench tab. Uh, if you ever need to readjust your density you can do that right here. So that'll be in your rate sensor setup screen and then just change your density factor. Clean out mode um, triggers at a thousand pounds so at a thousand pounds your floor chain will run for 15 seconds at full speed just to help clean it out. You can put that trigger weight at uh, whatever you want it to be and same with the, the seconds. We got it set at 1,015 seconds. Dynamic Cal setup. Um, this will this will adjust your uh, density every 5,000 pounds. I think it's preset at 1,000, uh, but it doesn't need to adjust that much. You can change it to three or 5,000. All right. Now we'll show you how to zero your scales. So again, click on the Gears tab. Uh, it'll probably bring you to Applicator Setup, but just hit the Wrench tab. Go to Scale Setup. And then, we don't have no weigh bars hooked up, but you should have a scale weight in there. Um, if you hit the Scale Calibration right below it, uh, your current scale weight will be in there. If you just hit zero, um, it'll ask you, are you sure you want to change your calibration, but you're just zeroing your scale. Hit your check mark and that weight will turn back to zero. And then just hit the check mark to get you back to your home screen. For more information, please contact Raven Helpline at 1-800-243-5435.